right, well that actually looks pretty fun. <laughs> I think I'll paddle out and surf first and then paint later. Okay, that is hands down the fastest service I've ever encountered. I literally ordered it. I walked away from the counter and she said, it's ready. The only thing I can think of is that the guy in the back heard me ordering and was rolling this thing up while I was ordering and paying. Uh, anyway, well, let's dig into this thing. Um, it feels solid. <laughs> I will say that it's heavy. Okay, so they they did not skimp. I got whole beans, avocado, rice, and cheese. Six dollars and eighty cents. Ooh, and they browned up the tortilla. Smells good. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, and then no chips, but that's all right. And they gave me some sort of salsa here. Mmm. Yeah, the tortilla is kind of crispy. I like that. Very good. Very good. Yes, I'm impressed. Okay, this this is probably going to ramp up the spiciness, so let's try this. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Definitely. So good. <clears throat> Just what I needed, too. There's no way I'd be able to paint without eating. Taqueria de la Hacienda Santa Cruz. They did me right. All right, so a nice little surf session and a killer burrito. What a way to get reacclimated to Northern California. Ooh, little cottontail rabbit, see it? All right, so I kept on driving. I ended up at Pigeon Point. It's actually beautiful out here, not too windy. So I'm gonna see if I can come up with some sort of compositional idea and then get to work. Lots of wildflowers. Uh, feels like spring is in full bloom. Kind of like this view here with the rocks leading into the distance. That's got potential. Looking in this direction is just too bright. Uh, it's because like looking right into the sun. So I think I'll try to make something of this right here. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. Driving home after this painting is not gonna be easy. Uh, I stayed out in the water almost two hours uh, in um, Capitola. So I am gonna be exhausted. All right, so I'm kind of set up in a precarious spot here. Um, but anyway, I've got a 16 by 20 inch panel. Uh, there's the view. Usual colors here, cadmium yellow, lemon, titanium white, cad yellow medium, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, glycerin crimson, dioxazine purple, ultramarine blue, and phthalo blue. I'm using liquid today as usual. And I will also be doing this painting primarily with this number 10 uh, synthetic bright and probably, I don't know, maybe this number six synthetic flat. I've got some natural bristle brushes here, but they're all kind of worn down. I need to replace them. Now that one's not too bad. It looks like kind of like a filbert. I might use that one too.
So here's the compositional idea. I like having these rocks in the foreground and then leading off into the distance, uh, you know, to show a sense of scale and depth. Honestly, I have my doubts about this, but it is good to kind of experiment. I've never tried a composition like this before. I mean, I've, I, I like the idea of having like a strong foreground, uh, almost like, you know, looking down at the foreground and then looking off into the distance for the distance. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep going and see if I can make this work. So I've kind of masked in the rocks here. I want to keep some of the burnt sienna. Um, I always like having a bit of that pop through as a complement to, um, you know, sort of the blue greens in the water. I'm going to have to reinforce the darks on these rocks, but I just wanted to make sure that I had a pattern that I liked. And I do, I like the, you know, this strong presence in the foreground leading off into the distance. Um, the next thing to do is going to be just to finish covering the whole panel. And then I'm going to uh, go in and start reinforcing darks and adjusting values and colors. There's a close-up of it. All right, so I'm tired, but I'm not as wasted as I thought I'd be. Uh, it's kind of a fun experiment. So let's go back to the studio and take a look. There he goes. All right, so I kind of kept this really loose. Didn't do much more after the block in. Um, there's some touch-ups I need to do, like uh, reinforcing some of the darks around, say, this rock here. Also, maybe the base of this one. Uh, so there's going off more on an angle. Uh, but I do like, I like this whole distant portion um, and this wave going off in this direction here. I did put some saturated orange in the cliffs in the distance just to draw the eye out there. I felt like if it was too pale or uh, if there was too much desaturation out there that there wouldn't be any interest in that area. Uh, plus, it was uh, you know pretty clear day, so those distant cliffs did have a lot of orange in them. Uh, I kept the foreground pretty loose and sketchy, so I kind of liked how these cliffs here are suggested. I don't know; it's possible that you know to have a few more rocks in here, so this is more of an arc like that. That could be kind of nice. Uh, when I first got this painting home. I thought that I would just crop the bottom off of it, but putting it in a frame, I don't mind it. I think it looks all right. I also like how the angles of, you know, the angle of these rocks and then this one and then the horizon, they're kind of in a radial fashion, if that makes sense. And I like that. Somehow I feel like that creates a sense of depth, you know, as you go towards the distance, 
you know, the land becomes more uh, horizontal. There's some nice uh, brushiness in here and just kind of loose suggested waves, which I like. Um, also variations in color that are kind of interesting. Uh, as usual, I'll just live with this painting for a little bit and then do the minimal touch-ups to kind of wrap it up. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, keep me making these videos, there's a Patreon link in the description below. Uh, other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.